Today we're reviewing the Nikon Nikkor AFS 55 to 300 millimeter lens. You can see that the lens comes equipped with its own lens sock. And here's the lens itself. This is a DX lens intended for DX crop sensor cameras like the D5000, the D90, and the D7000. Naturally, the lens comes with an end cap and a lens cap. You'll want to add a UV filter of some sort on the front just to protect the glass. And this lens requires a 58 millimeter thread. The lens weighs about 535 grams. So let's compare it to another Nikkor lens, the 55 to 200 millimeter lens. On the left, you see the 55 to 200 millimeter. On the right, the 55 to 300 millimeter. The 200 millimeter lens tips the scales at 335 grams, so it's a good bit lighter. And here you can see the size difference between the two lenses at full telephoto. So yes, the new lens, as you might expect, weighs a little more and is a little bit larger than the old 200 millimeter lens. The price difference between these two lenses is a couple hundred bucks. We paid about $400 for our new 55 to 300 millimeter lens. The extra money gets you more reach and slightly better build quality as we'll see in a minute. The new lens also comes equipped with a lens hood. I don't often use lens hoods, but if you do, there you go. The hood, like the rest of the lens exterior, is made of plastic. That's not necessarily bad. The use of plastic certainly helps keep the weight manageable, and it seems to be of high quality, as plastic goes. Taking a closer look at the lens, we see it's made in China, where most of Nikon's kit lenses are made. Although it's labeled VR, it actually uses Nikon's VR2 image stabilization system which works very well there are a couple of switches on the side of the lens you can turn VR on or off and you can also switch focusing from manual to automatic unfortunately there is no dual manual slash automatic mode you got to choose one or the other the VR system really works great it allows you to take full telephoto shots handheld now when we remove the rear lens cap we will see a nice upgrade offered by this lens over its 200 millimeter sibling, and that is a metal lens mount. So not only are you getting more reach with this lens, you're getting a slightly more robust build quality. There you can see the 200 millimeter on the left with its plastic lens mount. To the right, good old fashioned metal. So let's put the new lens on to a D5000 and see how they look. The lens attaches with a satisfying click and there we go. Sure, it makes a light camera like the D5000 feel a little unbalanced and front heavy, but what do you expect? It's a large telephoto lens. Now the widest aperture for this lens is f4.5. So it's obviously not a low light lens. Now that we've got the lens attached to our D5000, let's turn on the video mode and check out these focal links. Then we're gonna look at some photos. 55, 70, 100, 135, 200, 300. 55, 300. Finally, here are some photos. These were shot during our recent visit to the Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. All of these images were taken with the 55 to 300 millimeter lens, most of them at full telephoto. Furthermore, they were all taken handheld, with VR, of course, switched on. These photos illustrate why I bought this lens. I'm a photography enthusiast, not a professional photographer, and I wanted to get a little closer to wildlife. Usually, I'm taking these photos in good light during daytime. 
Since this lens is relatively slow, I don't think it's an ideal choice for, say, nighttime sports. But for my purposes, it works beautifully. The images are crisp and sharp with excellent color. Look, if money's tight, get the 200 millimeter lens and don't look back. If you plan on shooting in low light, get a faster lens. But if you've got a little extra cash in your pocket and you value a little extra reach and more robust build quality, go for the 300 millimeter. The bottom line is I've been very pleased with the images I'm getting out of this lens and I would buy it all over again. Now, if my video hasn't left you yawning and you want to see some more pictures taken with this lens, be sure to check out our RV travel website, longlonghoneymoon.com. Available on DVD.